Shut what the f Merry Christmas, Monitor. A great Christmas. My most favorite time of the year. <gasps> Monitor, are you telling me you don't have any Christmas spirit? No, it's not that. It's just that every single year that Christmas arrives, I end up getting electrocuted due to the fucking snow. <laughs> Meh, fair enough. Luckily, I myself am waterproof. Sponsored by Dehydration. Dehydration could cost you 15% or more in life expectancy. Take it easy. Ah, Christmas. So caring, so sharing, so... Sus. Wait, 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 I didn't mean to say that. Oh shit, oh shit! Odd. How is it odd? If I wanted to learn about the history of Italy, I'd order a pizza. Wait, Italy? <laughs> no man, it's just my Christmas outfit. I thought it would be kind of obvious given the fact that I'm wearing red and green. You know, the traditional Christmas colors? Why did I think this was a good idea? Merry Christmas, guys. I got some gifts for the team. Aw, Rubber Duck, that's so nice of you. Hold on, I'll be right back. What the f*** is this? That is the chia pet of the United States, known as Cup of Joe. I'm just gonna put this where this belongs. Wow, talk about ungrateful, guy. I was literally gone for 18 seconds! I guess I should open up mine now. I'm not surprised. I literally put my heart and soul to go through the dumpsters of Walmart to get you these gifts, and yet you turn them down? Shameful, guy. At least Monitor likes my gift. <laughs> Maybe getting him a cup of water wasn't a good idea. Elimination time. Christmas theme. Well, all our Christmas wishes will come true once this elimination is done. Why is that? Fuck you. We got a total of 20 free votes. The person who got the least votes is Pain Pellet with only free votes. Yes! No, let me die. No one gives two shits about how you feel, attention seeker. Or as some would say, Miley Cyrus. I'm so useless and pathetic, even on Christmas. At least you're being honest. Brick, that was uncalled for. Although it is kind of true. <laughs> Shut the f*** up! Hurry up, I cannot take another minute of this stupidity. Okay, jeez, keep your cube on. What? The next one safe is Brick with five votes. Still in it to win it and make trash bags suck it. Suck doesn't rhyme with win, dumbass. We're down to the bottom two, being Mr. Blandflakes and the Oblivious Crackhole. Hey! Bowling ball. You may be- Yeah, 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 just stop telling us what we already know and get to the votes. Okay, jeez, keep your hat on. <laughs> With exactly one more vote than Rubik's Cube, Bowling Ball has been eliminated. I'm safe? Woohoo! It's a Christmas phenomenal. I've never heard so much curse words being said all in one sentence. It's beautiful. <sighs> Just do what you gotta do. You have never spoken more real words even if you tried. Just do it, what are you waiting for, Christmas? 
I'm gonna miss him so much. Whatever, he deserves this. I know, right? He deserves so much better. Why do I fucking talk to these idiots? It should have been you! Who dares interrupt my well-deserved beauty sleep? Hmm, let's rewind the footage. Oh, son of a bitches. Oh, wait, that's me. Challenge time. Considering it's Christmas and it's a special time of year, I figured why not make it Christmas themed. Are we gonna make gingerbread houses? Nope. Are we gonna build a snowman? Nope. Am I gonna be happy? <laughs> nope. We're doing a gift exchange. How this will work is that each of you will pull names out of this bowl. When you pull the name out, you'll be giving a gift to the person that you got out of the bowl. And you have one full hour to give a gift to that person. Everybody come get a name. Oh goody, I got... Lipstick's phone. Oh goody, I got... Lipstick's phone. 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 <laughs> How did those get in there? <clears throat> Anyways, you know the drill. You have one hour. Go! Alright team. We can't lose this challenge. We gotta make sure the gifts we get him are exactly what he wants. Can't we just grab the gifts inside of you? It's a good idea, but these gifts are just decorations. No need to comment now. Look guys, I have an idea. The picture from episode one? Yeah, I call it the gift that we gift in. Or in other words, being a cheapskate. Uh, how did you even get that picture? We haven't seen it in months. I have my ways, guy. Okay, well that's a plus for you, but what about the rest of us? Think outside the box, guy. We can claim it's a gift from all of us. That sounds so simple, it just might work. What's your input on this monitor? <laughs> Alright team, does anybody have any gift ideas? I already made him a gift, let alone have any ideas. What's in it? <laughs> Smells f***ing terrible, whatever it is. Oh, you'll see. Also, let's do what the other team is doing because originality is totally optional. Time's up, everybody. You can now turn in your gi- Oh god, that's the sound of bitches dying. Run! Okay, never mind about the alarms, guys. It seems to have just been a false alarm. <gasps> Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm Santa Claus. Really? You're Santa Claus? Yeah! Can't you tell I have the hat on and everything? Dude, most of us are already wearing the exact same hat. That doesn't make you the real f***ing deal. And if you were really Santa, then where's your reindeer, the sleigh, and your sack? Well, to that I ask, why are you questioning me about my sack? That's very concerning. He does have a point there, guy. Okay, cut the shit. We know you're not Santa, so just give it up. Ugh, fine. You want the truth? My name is Mr. Bitch. I came here to steal your Christmas because Mr. Bowling Ballsack over there woke me up from my beauty sleep. I can definitely see why I need your beauty sleep, guy. You were one ugly motherfucker. You son of a bitch. I'll kill you. <laughs> That takes care of him. Anyways, it's time for some ranking. So what do you think? I didn't think I needed shit on Christmas, but thank you. As for you guys, you already gave me this. But guy, think about all the times you had with that lovely picture. Hmm. The other team's picture is nothing but a lame fucking pencil drawing. And I assure you, that reason alone will guarantee us a win. The Canadian Conquerors win this challenge. Wait, we actually won? Yup, I love me some artwork, and artwork is still a picture. And it's also still a picture of your team, so it counts. It amazes me how creative my contestants are. <laughs> I f***ing love you guys. The Canadian Conquerors ruined this challenge for giving me a sense of nostalgia and warmness in my heart. So viewers, vote anyone on the Artistic Morons to be eliminated. Whoever gets the most votes will leave the show. And have a Merry Christmas!
Merry Christmas, fat ass.